Hi guys, it's Mike here. Today I'm back with those kits that I bought the other day. That's Marianne Design Collectibles 1454 in case you're interested and look at all the kits you can make. Yay! And actually a friend of mine sent me a picture with more variations. It's probably not a good idea. But <laughs> thank you to Saskia for yeah, giving me more work, I would say. So I pulled out um, different kinds of cardstock and on the package the noses are really pink so I went with that but I think the other one is a bit more flesh tones and I'm going to put these Marianne Design craft tape behind all the colors that I'm going to use and I've got browns and grays and white and black and pink for the noses and then for the color I went for the gold and glitter and well, this is, I think, cat colors, right? <laughs> so, yeah. See, they're grouped together. These are the flesh tones and the eyes. And then all the other bits are loose, except the paws and the tails. Those are stuck together as well. As if you need two tails for a cat, but yeah, let's not go there. It depends if it has to bend to the right or to the left, I guess. So I'm going to pull out quite a few balls <laughs> to separate them. And also I pulled out some more colors for, um, sorry, colors for the colors. <laughs> so I thought that would be nice. And I pulled out these first few dice because um, I know that it has to be gold, that it has to be black. And actually also a yellow one. And then there is a sleepy cat. So I thought they were eyebrows at first. I mean, probably you can use them to give the eye is a bit more character. But yeah, these are the pink ones with the paw and the nose is there and the ears and a tongue. <laughs> He's sticking out his tongue. So I'm uh, halfway through die cutting and I wanted to show you a just randomly die cut heads and bodies and but I made sure that all the eyes are black and all the you know the, the skin tones are pink and stuff like that see here are all the flesh tones <laughs> and I thought it was best to just divide them while you're die cutting uh, into groups so here I have those face ma masks the bells the colors in different colors. I'm not sure which one I'm going to use yet, but there's so many variations of cats that you can make. <laughs> These are the eyes. So, you know, I thought I uh, will just cut a few and then see. And this is after I uh, decided I did cut enough. This is the sleeping body, and then there's the one that sits upright and all the markings. And uh, I did cut this cat separately because I went with the darker orange but then with the stripes it would yeah need an even darker and I don't have it so there's a cat on the package that holds a ball of yarn it, the dye is not included so I just die cut a circle and I'm not sure which size would be best yet but um, I will try and put them together <laughs> I'm going to start with black and white not sure why but then I realized I need yellow eyes because black on black won't really show up. So I went off screen and I cut them. And my cats have a white on their, well actually underneath their faces more. And then they have white socks. So I kept that. And I want to show you, I pull out my toothbrush once in a while because when you die cut the pink from the dyes kind of comes off and you know sticks to the paper and um, yeah I'm using tweezers or this pen or just wet my fingers <laughs> to make them stick and uh, remember there's already the adhesive on the back so I just need to peel off that little thingy and um, yeah See, all the eyes on the package are upright, but I thought this is more cat-shaped. <laughs> I 
I think and, uh, I should have gone and went for my uh, beauty tweezer because this one is horrible. And um, I didn't, <laughs> I just fiddled. I have made four cats so far and I have divided it into two videos because this one is already really long. And um, yeah, I'm adding a bit of Sharpie just to give him a bit more life so uh, without the pupils it just looks weird and to attach the ears I just peel off a little bit of the backing from the head just so it doesn't uh, go sticky everywhere and sticks to the desk and um, the best way to line up these ones is with the top of the ear and then make sure you tuck it behind the head And that's a little bit more difficult with dry adhesive, of course, but uh, it doesn't leave you those shiny marks that liquid glue does or seep out and make a mess. <laughs> so I kind of like this one more. And of course you can use the liquid glue if you prefer. I would prefer a different set of tweezers, so. <laughs> yeah. Mm, might have to go to the drugstore tomorrow. Anyway, so he's I, oh he's already cute. And then to attach his body, I'm just peeling off a little bit of the bottom of his head. Of course, it's just um, I forgot. I want I die cut it. See, but I forgot to pull it out. Uh, a little white on the chest. You can uh, position the head in different ways, making it look straight up or tilted or making funny poses. But this is my first cat, so I thought I would just keep it basic. <laughs> and remember, there's 36 pieces to this set, and there's one that I couldn't make sense of. And I thought it was one, and I think it is, but somehow it doesn't fit, in my opinion. Well, you'll see that later. I think in part two, actually. You see the one is tall and skinnier. That's the tail. And the other one was the uh, front paws. And oh, I forgot to tuck in his hind legs. And this, this um, tape is a little bit repositionable, but it's quite strong. So it's best to just do it right <laughs> the first time and once you're ready to attach it to your card you can just of course peel off all the backing and just stick him on or her yes. yay cat number one i'm going for the ginger cat that is sleeping so i'm trying to make different kind of cats in the videos and then I'll leave it up to your imagination to make the others. <laughs> <coughs> See the stripes on the cat are only drawn on the ones that's sitting upright. I thought maybe I can put them there. You can of course color it in and just take out everything from white. Um, yeah, <laughs> I didn't. I like the colored cardstock. But here I went wrong because there's two tails in the set as I said before and then I just notice here that this bit doesn't fit <laughs> that was a bit weird huh. see and you die get them together but I didn't realize that there would be a difference when you attach the stripes so you live and learn. <laughs> so the rest for the cat to assemble the face and everything and the paws is quite similar. So I cut out little bits of it. But then I'll come back with the bits that are different. Does that make sense? Yeah. Uh, 
I'm sorry, I'm off screen. <laughs> I had to look up really closely where to put everything. And these are the um, sleeping eyes or eyebrows <laughs> that I'm putting on. <coughs> See, I'm sticking his face on off camera. But the things that are different are the stripes. So I turned the camera back on for that. And because he has his eyes closed, I used his body in a sleeping position which is this one a little bit more round than oblong shape and I want his head to rest on the floor and he has his stripy tail and I pulled out those legs as well but I don't need them and I pulled out two but I only need one paw I think because two looks a bit weird on this side. <laughs> and of course you can die cut as you go. But I thought it's nicer to just die cut a bunch of colors. And then see what kind of cat I can make. And I'm going to make a few multi colors in the part two. So I hope you join me there. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.